Hey guys, in this video tutorial, we'll be learning about immobilization of the bacteria. So basically the entrapment, the entrapment, the entrapment of bacteria and enzyme inside a bed. Suppose this is a bacteria and we are entrap it inside a bed. It is known as immobilization. So the technique behind the immobilization is as follows first we have to take the bacterial solution the liquid bacterial solution we have to add the bacterial solution into 3% sodium alginate after this the mixture of 3% sodium alginate and bacterial solution is taken to a container having 1.5% calcium chloride the mixture the mixture of this bacterial solution and 3% sodium alginate should be added drop wise should be added drop wise when the sodium alginate react with the calcium chloride it forms the bead it forms the calcium alginate which is formed as bead and uh, eventually as the bacteria is mixed with the sodium alginate so the bacteria will be entrapped inside the bead now we can use these beads for our industrial purpose like we have to take these beads we have to take these beads in a column we have to add the substrate at the upstream site and uh, can get the product in the downstream by using this process we can get the bacterial product that is essential for us after adding the substrate the reaction for the immobilization can be follows where we will add uh, in the molecular level the formula can be the 2 sodium alginate plus calcium chloride which give rise to calcium alginate 2 and uh, the sodium chloride this process has several advantages like the beads can be reused the device is easy to transport and it is cost effective way how beads are formed when the mixture of bacteria and sodium alginate is added drop wise to the calcium chloride solution So if this video is anyway helpful to you, then please do subscribe the channel. Thank you.